here. Welcome back to the Mantry Podcast. I'm your host, Reggie Milligan, co-founder at Mantry. This podcast is all about helping you cook better. Throw it on when you're commuting or when you're cleaning or when you're on the go. And we're here to give you a couple tips to help you do a little bit better in the kitchen. So today I wanted to break down 11 ways that you can use hot sauce. So this is meant to be a list that kind of expands your horizon as to how to use a pretty household product. A lot of people just sort of dump it on pizza or use it to finish a dish when there's a lot of creative uses you can get out of it. So number one, one way that uh, I love to really use it is you can use it in a New Orleans shrimp po' boy. And a uh, New Orleans po' boy is a classic sandwich. You've got French baguette, usually some Cajun fried shrimp, a little lettuce on there, and a mayo base mix for the shrimp. But you can, when you cook off shrimp in the pan, throwing a little hot sauce in there and seasoning off the shrimp and then tucking it into a nice baguette, it's a perfect, simple way to make a quick snack. Now, the thing with hot sauce is a lot of people... They don't think to really cook with it, but it's got a lot, a lot of the times it's got great ability to almost act as if you were to put like chopped onions and garlic in a pan and sweat them down. If you sweat it off with like a little bit of butter just for like 30 or 40 seconds to get the flavors going and then throw some shrimp or seafood in there, it acts as a great, simple, quick seasoning. Number two used to roast vegetables. Uh, specifically, the recipe that we love the most is the ghee roasted carrots with feel hot sauce that we've put on the site before. Feel feel is amazing hot sauce uh, that's out of New York and it's an African style hot sauce. But in any regard, if you take some ghee, which is just uh, a clarified butter, Indian style clarified butter, or you roast off any vegetables like carrots, you roast off sweet potatoes, you can roast off asparagus and you just mix your hot sauce with a little bit of clarified butter or butter to roast them off in in the oven it's a great simple way to do vegetables three marinating for grilled meats using hot sauce as a marinade makes a lot of sense a lot of the times they're quite acidic which helps tenderize meat a little bit but when you do skewers and stuff you can douse your cubes in a little bit of hot sauce throw them in the fridge for a couple hours or overnight and then skewer them up and grill them off. I love to do like yakitori style or um, sort of smaller skewers. So get some chicken thigh, chop it up to very thin dices or very small cubes and then kind of make mini skewers. And so we have a great recipe on the site for chicken saute with maple sriracha hot sauce. And that comes from Vermont maple sriracha. That's a fantastic hot sauce that's out of, of course, Vermont. Fourth use, glazed sausages with a little bit of honey or syrup, like, for example, spicy maple glaze bratwurst. So you can get any uh, sausage bratwurst in this case works really great. And you just mix a little bit of hot sauce with either honey or maple syrup if you have it. And the idea here is that sweetness complements spiciness really well. And so... You add a little bit of fat from the sausages into that and sort of meatiness. And it's a very delicious three ingredient recipe, really, where you can quickly glaze off sausages in sort of a hot, sweet sauce. So just a little bit of honey and a little syrup with a couple dashes of hot sauce to glaze off sausages right at the end. And the way to do this is to cook your sausages first, almost all the way through, and then add your honey or syrup, and then your hot sauce into the pan for like the last two minutes over high heat. And you'll see it'll reduce down really quick and kind of get like a nice glaze or a syrup going. Number five, very simple way to use hot sauce, often underlooked, just add it to cocktails like Bloody Mary, using it to wake up a Bloody Mary, using it to wake up a michelada, which is a beer-based 
Mexican style cocktail uh, with a bit of tomato juice in there. We have a web we have a recipe on the site for a yellow bird michelada, which is uh, yellow bird's a great hot sauce that's out of Austin. And this is you know a lot of great Bloody Marys comes down to like unique spice mix- mixtures and using unique hot sauces to kind of finish off a Bloody Mary or a tomato based cocktail or something of that nature is a great way to kind of add a different angle to it. And it's also a great way that like using five or six different styles of hot sauces each time you are changing your hot sauces up over the course of time, you can add kind of different layers and different uh, looks to your Bloody Marys to keep it fresh. Six, obviously in tacos, one of the best ways to use any hot sauce. And similar, I mean, hot sauce is one of these things that if you, you can keep making the same dish, like maybe you just got a knockout recipe for breakfast tacos with a little scrambled egg, some avocado, you know, some cogita cheese on there. And just by mixing up the hot sauce, it's like a different dish every time. So topping off tacos, no brainer, great way. Love this one. Next one, number seven, just toss wings in hot sauce. Uh, one of our favorite recipes is a pina Thai chili sauce, which is out of, uh, I think it's Vermont. Uh, just tossing that with some little bit of butter, tossing your wings, baking them off or grilling them off, and then putting them in a bowl and adding a little chopped green onion uh, this is a really, really, really simple way to use hot sauce, but for wings, I mean, people think of Buffalo wings, you know, okay, I'm going to use, let's say Frank's red hot sauce and a little bit of butter, but like there are so many other amazing hot sauces out there where maybe you got something like dragon's butt elixir, which is a Connecticut apple and habanero hot sauce, or maybe you go with like a mole hot sauce, which is sort of a chocolate based Mexican chipotle pepper type hot sauce but just adding a little cutting it again with a little bit of butter kind of in the style of buffalo wings sauce and then baking off the wings or grilling them is an amazing way to just incorporate hot sauce into a dish number nine dousing them over nachos love that as a use another good trick here is to actually toss in the hot sauce or douse or spurts it over the nachos well, the cheese is raw and then baking it and you kind of get the hot sauce bakes a bit into the cheese, which makes like a nice difference because it kind of just seasons the cheese mixture and it really just kind of layers it in there rather than putting it over top at the end over the melted cheese. So do that before you throw them in the oven and bake off the cheese. 10, splash over fried chicken. A uh, good recipe we have on the site there, buttermilk fried chicken with sweet potato habanero hot sauce. And that sweet potato habanero sauce comes from Cochon Butcher in New Orleans. Hot sauce really, and this is a good example of how hot sauce really does well when it's added to hot foods that are right out of the fryer, right out of the pan. Uh, the flavors get woken up this by when they hit heat in a hot sauce so in this case like with the fried chicken and in the as well with wings you can as soon as you pull it out of the fryer if you chuck the hot sauce in there it'll kind of get more incorporated and you'll have a better result than letting the fried chicken cool a little bit before dousing it in your hot sauce same thing with french fries like french fries seem to have this beautiful moment for five to 10 seconds right after they come out of the fryer or even if you're baking them off, where if you hit them with whatever you're seasoning with, it makes all the difference. So whether even that's a little bit of truffle oil or or whether that's Parmesan or hot sauce, like you hit it with with the ingredients right out of the fryer and it makes all the difference. So, you know, a good simple French fry recipe with hot sauce even is just hot sauce, Parmesan cheese and fresh herbs right out of the fryer knockout kind of bar fry recipe and finally last but not least got to do it got to give the shout out on pizza the uh the surefire way to wake up a piece of cheese pizza the old dousing over your slice of pie and a and b hot sauce out of new york they do a pepper sauce we love that one on pizza So those are just a couple ideas uh, to expand your hot sauce horizon. 
and we hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoy it, share it. Um, we have fun making these, and we'll be back again with more tips and hints on this podcast. Thank you for joining us, and good luck cooking out there.